Infirmary is now offering the robotic pulmonary lumbectomy using Da Vinci, an innovative robotic surgical tool for lung cancer patients who must undergo surgery to remove cancerous lung tumors. Bringing the robotic lobectomy to Toro was spearheaded by thoracic surgeon Dr. Eugene Kakui. Toro is currently the only hospital in the New Orleans metro area utilizing this innovative technology. Take a look. We're excited to offer robotic thoracic surgery at Turo. This is a technology itself that is not completely brand new. This started years ago and was developed over the last decade, used now primarily for uh, urologic surgery, gynecologic surgery, and also general surgery, and it's starting to be used more and more in the thoracic surgery environment. And at Turo, we're one of the um, very few places in the whole region that use this machine. Uh, to do lung surgery. So robotic surgery is, it's, it can be a little misconstrued. The robot doesn't do the operation. What it is, is it's a tool like any other tools that we use. What this tool allows us to do is to see more precisely, use smaller incisions, three, see things in three dimensions, um, and really get in a lot closer to the pathology and to the anatomy to do our resections, I think, more carefully. Um, so. The robot itself is right over here. You've seen this is what we consider a three-arm robot with the camera port. And this is controlled by a separate console that usually sits in a different part of the room. But the surgeon sits at the console, has three-dimensional vision because the camera actually use, has two eyes in it. So you see things like you typically would in, in regular surgery, but you're doing it through tiny little incisions. You know, the traditional way of doing lung surgery is through large incisions. And it's still being done in most of the country through very large incisions. And we're talking about incisions in some scenarios that are over a foot long. So this would be a thoracoscopic instrument. This is actually a small thoracoscopic instrument. They, they come bigger than this. But what you do is you also have a bunch of uh, openings that you make to put instruments in. You have a separate camera that goes into the patient and you're working through the camera a smaller incision in the chest, and you're trying to do all of this while looking at a flat TV screen monitor so everything is in two dimensions. The actual arms of a robotic device uh, can be controlled. It's almost like a really tiny little hand that can be controlled at the very tip. I'm doing this with my finger right now. It's not hooked up to the robot, but what happens is you can you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of movement, very fine movement right at the tip of the instrument, which you typically would not have if you're just doing this. This is all you had with a thoracoscopic instrument. Uh, and that, I think, just leads to, um, again, more comfort for the patient, smaller incisions, the locations of the incisions that you place in the patient when you're using the robot are in a more comfortable location, as you would if you were doing a thoracoscopic, even with a camera surgery but your incision has to be up higher because a lot of your uh, manipulation and a lot of the work that you do stays up higher in areas which are, can be a little bit more painful. Technology, what it actually allows to do is to bring it back to a point where it's comfortable for the patient and the surgeon. So when I get on this console, it's probably the most comfortable surgery I'll do that entire day. You do see some of this being used around the country. And I think as we get more uh, expertise using it in the thoracic arena, we'll probably start doing it in the cardiac arena as well. So I think it's going to continue going along with smaller incisions, uh, new ways of minimizing uh, pain to the patient and making the whole thing easier and more comfortable for everybody to deal with.